Hello everybody, are you all ready for another exciting adventure? Are you ready, Tiger? Of course you are, you were born ready. Today we'll be telling you all about the wonderful world of sport. Where's your headband, Tiger? There's your headband. Let's go, kids! Today's episode is all about the wonderful world of sport, which is why I'm wearing this. And kids, did you know that you must be active for at least one hour every day to keep your brain and your body happy and strong? There are lots of sports to do that, aren't there, Tiger? Yeah. Football or soccer, basketball, ice hockey, tennis, yeah. Golf, you're good at golf, aren't you? Cricket, rugby, netball, and so many others. There are even some very strange sounding sports like toe wrestling and tuna tossing. And they are found down under in Australia. Good day, Australia. Do you know what else you can do in Australia? You can do diving. <laughs> but enough chatting. Yeah. You need to go to the Art Critiques Art Gallery, Tiger. I'm not invited as usual, but I hope you all, Tiger Cubs, and you, Tiger, have fun with the Art Critique. See you soon. Oh, hello, boys and girls. Hello, Tiger. You look fantastic in your headband, almost as good as my headband. What do you mean it's Tim's headband? I promise you, Tim is not me and I am not Tim. Well, yes, I do love sport. I go to the Wimbledon Tennis Championships in London every year. Well, not this year, unfortunately, for sad reasons. But I will be back next year. And it's very posh there, just like me. And as usual, Tiger Cubs, I'm here to critique some more wonderful art. The section of the show is all about showing off the wonderful work of some of you Tiger Cubs. So, what did you send me this time? A beautiful piece of modern art is the answer. And this one is from Erin, age six, who is in Sussex, which is in the United Kingdom, where Tiger and I am. And what a beautiful picture it is, Erin. Lots of colour, lots of beautiful fingers, and lots of fantastic art. Brilliant work. The next drawing is from Mars, who is age 21 from Mumbai in the country of India, and Mars has drawn a beautiful tiger. It looks like an Indian tiger to me, maybe a Bengal tiger. Well done, Mars. You are proof that age is just a number. It doesn't matter how old you are, you can be a fan of Tiger and Tim. And Lucy, age five, in Geneva, Switzerland, which is a country in Europe, is obviously a fan of Tiger and Tim too, because she sent this wonderful drawing of the jungle. There's a monkey hanging from the tree and a little tiger and a girl in the middle of the art who I think must be Lucy. And here's Lucy's sister, Romy, who is age four. Another fantastic piece of art. Another great drawing, lots of beautiful color and a lovely house in the middle. I absolutely love it, Romy. Well done! And just as always, you Tiger Cubs send in the most spectacular art. Thank you so much for that. It was a real pleasure looking at it all through my monocle. And remember to send in your beautiful drawings, paintings, arts and crafts so you can appear on our show too. Just think of something creative and come up with your own masterpiece and go to our website tigerandtim.com forward slash upload to send it to us. And if your grown-ups in the house agree to it, then you can also appear holding the photo of the picture 
too. I'm off to play tennis. Oh, oh, oh. And Tiger, I'm going to have to say goodbye to you now. I'll miss you and I'll see you soon. Bye, Tiger Cops. <laughs> Well, it's nice to be back with you, Tiger Cubs, and you, Tiger. Sorry, what was that? No, it's not me! I keep telling you all I am not the art critique. It must just be luck, and he bought the same headband from the same shop as me, and he must also like tennis like me. Just in case you do love sport, and maybe you're not the best player in your team, it doesn't mean you can't work in sport one day, because I did, didn't I? Exactly. But after all the fun we've had so far, Tiger Cubs, it's time to take a break, to sit back, relax, get comfortable, and listen and read with us. And we've produced another of our own stories today, haven't we? The Cub Cup Final. Here we go. The most magnificent and exciting morning of Tiger's whole year had finally arrived. It was Cub Cup final day. Fantastic. The day Tiger had been dreaming about each night for as long as he could remember. Tiger wondered if this could be Tiger United's year. Could they finally win their first ever Cub Cup championship? Tim had spent all morning getting Tiger's football belongings together. But as they sat in their jungle jeep, ready to set off for the match, Tim was unusually quiet. Was Coach Tim, trust me, I'm the coach, nervous for the game? Tiger thought, surely not. He has the finest mind that any football manager could hope for. It wasn't long before they reached the stupendously spectacular stadium. Tiger's heart started to beat faster and faster the closer they got. He was very nervous. Football fever is here, Tiger whispered to Tim, as they both watched all of the other animals arrive to watch the game in their hundreds. Wow, a big crowd. Each spectator was dressed magnificently in their team's colours. Back in the dressing room, Tiger crossed his paws tightly as the team was announced for the match. Would he be in the starting 11 players? I have worked really hard in training and given my absolute best, Tiger thought to himself. Tiger, you will be on the bench, Coach Tim said sheepishly. He was very embarrassed and nervous, wasn't he? Whilst very disappointed, Tiger accepted that Coach Tim was doing his best for the team. Tiger also remembered the wise words of his friend, Jake the Jaguar. It's okay if you're disappointed, but you must keep trying and never give up. Wise words from Jake, I must say. During the match, Tiger watched longingly as each minute on the clock passed. Even though he felt sad for himself that he wasn't playing, he still wanted Tiger United to win. You are a good teammate, Tiger. That's exactly the right attitude you should have. Unfortunately, things were not going well for Tiger United. They were 2-0 down at half-time, oh dear, to the Wolfpack Wanderers. The restart didn't go much better either. Tiger wiped a frustrated tear from his eye. It's just one goal after another, he thought. Surely Tim has to do something. Yes, Tim, surely you have to do something. Instead, Coach Tim seemed too busy jumping up and down frantically on the bench. Crazy Coach Tim. The score soon reached 4-1. Oh, we need a miracle with only 15 minutes left on the clock, groaned Tiger. All of a sudden, there was a loud, almost deafening sound. The referee, Jerry the Giraffe, blew his whistle. Oh no! Tiger United's main striker and top goal scorer had been injured and there was no way he would be able to continue. Tiger, you're on, bellowed Tim. Tiger almost tripped over himself as he ran onto the pitch with excitement. 
the Tiger United fans began to roar. Tiger! Tiger! Instantly, Tiger and his teammates could feel a huge rush of belief from their fans. They couldn't let them down now, could they? All of a sudden, Tiger United looked inspired. They started to pass the ball better. And it wasn't long before one, two, and then three goals had landed in the back of the Wolfpack Wanderers net. Yes, Tiger United, fantastic. The score now stood at 4-4 with one minute left on the clock. Would this game go to penalty kicks or could either team sneak a winning goal right at the end? No! The final whistle went and the Cub Cup final was going to penalties. Oh no, I hate penalty kicks. England always lose the penalty kicks. Oh! Tim was now pacing up and down the sideline, jumping like a gazelle. He was very, very nervous. Well, you know why? Because I'm used to losing penalty kicks. I just told you. The penalties all went into the back of the net until Wolfpack Wanderers missed their very final kick. I think I know what this means. There was an enormous gasp from the crowd, <gasps> which must surely have been heard from space. Tim looked at Tiger, Tiger looked at Tim, and the coach gave his friend the nod to take the final penalty, just like this. Tiger walked slowly to the penalty spot. His nerves almost took his breath away, but somehow Tiger managed to keep calm like Tim had told him to. Jerry the giraffe blew his whistle and the crowd went quiet. It's tiger time, mm. gulped tiger. Up he stepped slowly but surely before blasting the ball into the back of the net. Tiger United had done it. They had beaten all of the odds. Hooray! Well done, Tiger! Absolutely unstoppable shot, yelled Tim, who was flapping his arms so frantically he could probably take off. I'm like a bird. <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. I am so proud of you, Tiger. You used the disappointment of not starting the match as motivation to help us win the Cub Cup. You are the best friend a person could have and the best penalty taker a coach could ever have. The whole stadium accidentally heard Tiger and Tim's private talk as there was a microphone sat on the sideline. And one by one, they all cheered to celebrate. Hip, hip, hooray for Tiger and Tim. This is what sport is all about. Hip, hip, hooray for Tiger and Tim. This is what sport is all about. Tiger could not wait to show all of his friends his first ever trophy. Well done, Tiger. But he realized the trophy was not the most important thing after all. Winning a Cub Cup championship at last was great, but having great friends is even better. The end. What a lovely story, the Tiger Cub Cup final. Fantastic. And there's an important message in that story, Tiger Cubs. Friendship, being determined, being a team player, and never giving up. You should be very proud, Tiger. On to the next section. We hope you enjoyed story time, time. <laughs> What's that ringing sound? Oh no. Hello? Hello, Mummy Susie. Yes, you want to call to tell me off for not letting Tiger start the last match in the story. I'm sorry, Mummy Susie. Next time I promise to let Tigers be on the starting pitch. Okay. Yes, I love you too. I've got to go, I've got to go. That's made her be a bit quieter. <sighs> the phone's broken. The jokes, riddles and tongue twister today are of course to do with our theme. The wonderful world of sport. Yes, Tiger, I love sport. Here comes the riddle. How did the soccer or football fan 
know before the game that the score would be nil-nil. Zero-zero. Any ideas, Tiger? Correct. Because the score before any match is nil-nil. It hasn't started. We tricked you. Very good riddle. Now for a couple of jokes. What kind of stories do basketball players tell? What kind of stories do basketball players tell? Yes. Tall tales. <laughs> <laughs> because they're so tall and they're telling a tale. Now for our second joke. Why didn't the dog want to play football? Because it was a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> a boxer dog is the breed of a dog, not a boxer. Ooh, don't put your boxing gloves on, Tiger. You're very strong. Now, let's do the tongue twister. Tiger's tongue twister. Oh. It's a really good tongue twister you've come up with today, Tiger. Well done indeed. All of the S's. Okay, I'll give it a try. Spot the sports shop stocking socks with spots. Oh, it was a bit slow, wasn't it? I'll do it again. Spot the sports shop stocking socks with spots. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Seven out of 10, but we know you want me to do it much faster and I'm sure you Tiger Cubs want me to get a 10 out of 10. Here we go. Spot the sports shop stocking, oh, I can't do it, Tiger. Oh, it's a zero out of 10 for me this week. I'm exhausted. I'm sorry I failed you and I failed you Tiger Cubs, but I hope some of you got a 10 out of 10 with your pronunciation, doing that tongue twister perfectly. On to the last section now, kids. Ooh. Well, the wonderful world of sports show is nearly over. I'm getting ready to go and do some snorkeling after this. Hello again to our friends in Australia. Before we get to our end of the show sing-along though, remember you're all members of the Tiger and Tim Fan Cup. So that means we expect you to do certain things, to be kind to others, to be well-mannered, to work hard in school, to respect your elders, and to try to read as often as you can. It's really important, Tiger Cubs. We want more brilliant kids like you in the world and we want you to read as well as Tiger does because you are a fantastic reader, aren't you, Tiger? Anything you want me to tell the Tiger Cubs and the uh, grown-ups before we do our sing-along, Tiger? Yes, our next episode will be all about British culture and we will meet the Queen. Come along and meet her with us, please. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now it's time for our goodbye sing-along song! Work hard at school, we'll think you're cool Learning is rather fun We both like heat, ah, veggies and treats But books are our favourite things Remember to draw, not with tiger's paw And be kind to the people you meet Oh, we go together like strawberries and cream With Tiger and Tim You'll dare to dream Keep reading, kids. See you soon. Lots of love. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.